A solar flare is an explosive process of energy release kinetic, light, and heat in the sun's atmosphere. Flares somehow cover all layers of the solar atmosphere, the photosphere, and the corona of the sun. Solar flares are often, but not always, accompanied by coronal mass ejections. The energy release of a powerful solar flare can reach 610 to 5 joules, which is about a sixth of the energy released by the sun per second, or 160 billion megatons in TNT equivalent. For comparison, this represents the approximate amount of global electricity consumption over 1 million years, under the influence of the magnetic field, an unexpected compression of the solar plasma occurs, a plasma bundle or ribbon is formed. It can reach tens or hundreds of thousands of kilometers in length, which leads to an explosion. The solar plasma in this area can heat up to temperatures of the order of 10 million K. The kinetic energy of emissions of substances moving in the corona and escaping into interplanetary space at speeds up to 1,000 km per second increases. They receive additional energy and significantly accelerate the flows of electrons, protons, and other charged particles. Optical, X-ray, gamma, and radio radiation are amplified. Please like this video and subscribe to this new channel and you will see many more interesting and useful things. Photons from the flare reach the Earth in about 8.5 minutes after its start. Then, within a few tens of minutes, powerful streams of charged particles reach, and plasma clouds from the solar flare reach our planet only after two or three days. Solar flares are of practical importance, for example, in studying the elemental composition of the surface of a celestial body with a thin atmosphere or in its absence acting as an X-ray pathogen for X-ray fluorescent spectrometers installed on board spacecraft. The harsh ultraviolet and X-ray radiation of flares is the main factor responsible for the formation of the ionosphere, which can also significantly change the properties of the upper atmosphere. Its density increases significantly, which leads to a rapid decrease in the altitude of the satellite's orbit. The strongest streams of charged particles during solar flares often damage satellites and lead to accidents. The probability of damage in solar flares to modern electronics, which contain mainly CMOS elements, is higher than TTL, since the threshold energy of the particles causing the malfunction is lower. Such particles also cause great damage to the solar panels of spacecraft. Plasma clouds released during flares lead to the occurrence of geomagnetic storms, which in a certain way affect equipment and biological objects. The current forecast of Solar flares is based on the analysis of the magnetic fields of the sun. However, the magnetic structure of the sun is so unstable that it is currently not possible to predict an outbreak even a week in advance. NASA makes a forecast for a very short period of time, from one to three days on calm days in the sun. The probability of a strong flare is usually indicated in the range of 1-5, and during active periods it increases only to 30-40, the duration of the pulsed phase of solar flares usually does not exceed several minutes, and the amount of energy released during this time can reach billions of megatons in TNT equivalent. The energy of a flare is traditionally determined in the visible range of electromagnetic waves by the product of the glow area in the hydrogen emission line, which characterizes the heating of the lower chromosphere by the brightness of this. Glow associated with the source power dot in recent years, a classification based on uniform patrol measurements based on a series of satellite images, mainly goes of the amplitude of a thermal X-ray burst in the energy range of 0.5 minus 10 keV with a wavelength of 0.5 minus 8 angstroms has also been frequently used. The classification was proposed in 1970 by D. Baker and was initially based on measurements from the SolarAD satellites. According to this classification, a solar flare is assigned a score at designation consisting of a Latin letter and an index behind it. The letter can be A, B, C, M, or X, depending on the magnitude of the peak X-ray. Intensity reached by the flash, 